All right, got everything cleaned up on the grinder for the most part. The profile's looking good. I got the flat sections here as flat as I can get them, and they're up to a 120 grit. And so now it's time to move on to roughing in our bevels. Uh, what I'll end up doing is I will grind the main bevel, and then I will come back and do the upper bevel here on the hook portion of the Kopesh after heat treat. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get it scribed real quick. All right, everything went great in the quench. I tempered it at two, for two one-hour cycles at 400 degrees. I'm gonna throw my file guide on and we're gonna finish the bevels up and move on to hand sanding and get it wrapped up. All right, I got the blade hand sanded up to 600 grit. I'm gonna turn our attention to the guard. Right, this is a piece of inch and a half wide, quarter of an inch thick brass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the center area, which is 0.745 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and scribe it right quick. All right, so I'm gonna figure how far I wanna come down on my guard here, figure out the overall length of it. Then I'm gonna lay my tang on here, mark it out, and then I'll punch the spots, drill them out, and then we'll mill out the slot for the tang. All right, so I'm gonna get after it. Got about two and a half inches for the guard. I wanna find the halfway point of this piece. Then I'm going to lay the tang across here, marking the side. All right, we're going to do an inch and a quarter. You'll notice I'm measuring from the wrong end of the ruler. Uh, this says 12 here because obviously my ruler's broken, but that's okay. So we're going to measure an inch and a quarter, which is right there. Use my little machinist square here. All right, that is our center point there. I'm gonna come in with the, the tang of my sword here. All right, the width of our tang is 0.72. So I'm going to divide that in half, we get 0.355. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my caliper at 0.35. There we go. In here, and we're gonna just those two crosses right there two X's that's what we're wanting to drill out and prep of milling let's get these punched and get after it
All right, so here's where we are. I've got our guard filed and fit up. I also did a spacer and got it milled out. And I've got some guide pins in here to hold this piece together. Our guard fit up is nice. So we're gonna turn our attention to this block of wood right here. This is a piece of desert ironwood from Arizona Ironwood. Uh, it's got some resin of course mixing with it and stabilizing everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the handle laid out on here and get the holes drilled and get it broached out, get it fit up, and then we'll turn our attention to the bottom spacer. I got the handle slotted out. We got everything ready, all of our components. We just got one piece left here on the end. I went ahead and drew uh, where I wanna to grind in the portion that will be threaded that will go through the pommel portion. I'm gonna use brass black on all these fittings, gun blue, super blue solution on the portion I paint over so it will, will match pretty well. So let's go ahead and get this ground, get it rounded off, get it threaded, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so here's where we are so far. I got the uh, end of the tang threaded, and I was looking at using some more brass back here to make the pommel out of, but all I've got is this quarter of an inch, and I actually had several pieces stacked up that I was gonna grind into the shape of the pommel, but I really wasn't liking how it was gonna turn out. Um, I had this pommel here left over from a project. It was in the scrap bin, and I think that it actually will go well with the flow of the of the Kopesh. This is the same style of pommel I used on the Messer sword I made here on the channel and this is one of the ones that was messed up and so what I've done is I have I still got to put guide pins and stuff to hold it in place but what I've done here is I've got the threaded portion of the tank and then of course I just drilled into this 3 8 brass round stock and of course this screws in and tightens down internally and pulls everything together. And so that's the direction I'm going to go with that. And now I'm going to turn my attention to shaping the guard, uh, the front spacer, rear spacer, and then we'll get to work on the handle. Alright, time to jump on the grinder.